officially. And welcome to today's webinar on how to teach English online. So uh, just make sure that everything is still working. Uh, today, I'm going to break this webinar up into two parts. In the first part of the webinar, we're going to cover what practical aspects of tutoring English online, you know, uh, as well as talk a bit about more about the, the recruitment side of things, what um, what computer you'll need, what qualifications you'll need, all these kind of things. And then in part two, we'll talk about how eTIFL online can uh, help you get started teaching English. And there's Lucille from Korea. Wow, we have a very multinational group today. Excellent. So uh, for those of you that are on the webinar and for those I'm for the first time trying to stream this live on Facebook as well, we'll see how that goes. So for both of the people that are on the on the webinar right now and for those that are watching on Facebook, stick around till the end because we're going to have a little Q&A session. So you can ask me any questions you may have. And also we may have a few little bonuses for people that are attending. So can everybody turn off their mobile phones, log out of Facebook, all of that stuff? I'm doing the same right now myself. So we have no distractions because I'm going to need your full attention for this presentation. All right, before we get started officially, something I need to discuss with you. I'm going to walk you through every step. We'll show you how to get qualified, how to get a professional CV or resume if you're American, give you all the resources, we'll give you the support, we'll give you everything. So you can get your first job either working for a school or working for yourself or whatever it may, may be. But in the end, it's down to you. All right, this is, this is a profession. So like with any profession, you have to work at it. And this is not one of those get rich quick schemes and it's not for everybody. All right, some of you may, may take this up and make great success of it and others won't, all right? But we're willing to show you how in this free webinar. So let's get started. So who am I? Hello, everybody. My name is Jody van der Westlesen. I did an online TEFL course in 2006, and I've been working in Spain as a teacher ever since, basically. So for 13 years, probably the 14th year now. So a few years ago, I started working with Cambridge English Assessment, specializing in their exams. Uh, you may know the the advanced English level or the first certificate or the, the PET or PET as it's called. Um, those exams that test your proficiency level and I've taught many, many students and helped them pass those exams. So three years ago, I invested in a company called iTEFL and became a master franchisee for them and then founded eTEFL online using the resources from that. All right, so most TEFL course providers will give you, will give their clients like you a link to a job club when they graduate and then you're on your own. So you get your TEFL course, there's your certificate, here's a link to go and find jobs, goodbye, thank you for coming. But for many people, that's not enough. So with eTEFL Online, we put together all the pieces of the puzzle into one package so that you can focus on your training and then get right into teaching English online. All right. So part one. What is teaching English online and is there a market for it? So I'm going to try and keep this webinar as short as possible, around 30 minutes. I don't want to take up too much of your time and also, but I don't want to go through it too quickly so that we miss some stuff. All right. So we're going to go over some quick reviews. Teaching English online is teaching English to a non-native English speaker over the internet through the use of a computer and a webcam. So we've got the definition out there. Students can learn one-on-one -on -one or they can be in small groups. And the cost is usually pretty much cheaper when compared to in-person and face-to-face -face classes. So both students and teachers are able to set their own times and schedules, and the teacher can teach from whatever location is convenient to them. Some people want to travel and teach, other people want to stay at home, whatever the case may be. So is there a market for us? So there's an estimated 1 billion English students in the world. China alone has over 500 million students. Uh, Lucille, I'm getting people in the chat box. No, I've I've just got the uh, the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation, the slides? Okay. Yeah, because I haven't got the video on because I've got the slides on. All right. So uh, in 2010, for example, this entire industry, the e-learning industry, as it's called, people studying online, not necessarily English, only English, but everything, 
was uh, estimated to be worth about 32 billion. In 2015, it was over 100 billion already. And by 2025, they're projected to be over 300 billion US dollars a year industry. So yes, is there a market for it? Most definitely. And it's growing and growing every year. So work from home, you can work from home, you can become a digital nomad. Like I said earlier, some people want to stay at home, some people want to travel, and you can earn US dollars from wherever you are in the world, which for some people will be a big bonus. I suppose for most people to earn dollars will be a bonus. So, so we've discussed that. Now, who can teach English online? So contrary to what many people believe, you don't need a teaching degree to be able to teach English online. So if you're a TEFL certified and a fluent English speaker, then you can teach English online. Uh, very soon, Chinese companies will also require that you have a bachelor's degree in any field, although it is not a necessity to take the TEFL course or to work online. This is one of the reasons that we're having this webinar today is because of all these recent changes. Uh, last year, December, the Chinese government made a, a requirement for every online teacher to have a teaching certification, like a TEFL or a degree in teaching whatever, you had to have a TEFL certification or a teaching certification. Previously, that wasn't the case. And they're bringing more and more laws in to make it the same for online teachers as it is for in-class teachers. So if you want to go work in a school in China, you will have to have a degree and a teaching qualification. And they're trying to standardize that entire process for everybody, whether or not you work online from your own country or not. So it hasn't come through yet, but it's pretty much uh, uh, certain to happen and it'll happen within the next month. Um, and when I say China, uh, we speak about China a lot, and you, I'll speak about it more because they are by far the biggest. As you saw in that previous slide where the market is, half of all the online students on the world are, are in China. So when China speaks, people listen. All right. Uh, other traits that are often sought after for the people that can teach English online is to be personable and have great presentation skills and so forth. All right. You need to be a, the kind of person that can engage and hold the student's attention because you're not physically in the classroom, so you don't have that physical aspect. So you do have to be able to be like bubbly is a word that people use sometimes. That can also help. All right, so let's talk about some advantages to teaching English online. You can teach English online from anywhere in the world. So as long as you have an internet connection that's fast enough and stable enough, then you can teach English online. So you can work as few or as many hours as you please. You can set your own schedule, uh, gain experience in the field of online learning and put that on your CV or resume or generally in the field of teaching. You can teach online part-time, supplement your income, or you can work full-time. So a lot, of, a lot of people would like to keep their day jobs, for example, and just supplement your income with this. And that's perfectly okay as well. That's, that's an option for you to, to pursue. So you can use your TEFL certification as well to make a positive impact on people's lives and to make an income at the same time. So this is one of the great things. I mean, whenever people hear working online from home, there's always that dodgy element to it. But this is completely, completely separate, all right? This is you getting a teaching certification and making the world a better place, helping people to achieve goals that they have. Uh, maybe some people that live abroad want to go and work in a foreign country and they need English, all right? So this is your job to help get their level up so they can immigrate, provide for their family. So a lot of the time you are doing very, very important work. Let's have a look now at some of the countries where online English teaching is in high demand. So number one on that list, obviously, China. Uh, South Korea in Asia, it's very huge. It's a huge, huge um, industry over there. Hong Kong, Vietnam, Taiwan, and then Philippines and Russia as well. And then to a lesser extent in the, in the UAE, uh, Saudi Arabia, Czech Republic. A lot of those countries, especially in the Middle East, prefer still to have teachers in class uh, Spain, Colombia, Brazil, Argentina, so South America as well, another growing market, both for in-class teaching and for online teaching. All right, let's talk a little bit about the students' online class sizes and session types. So this is a very general overview again, just not to put uh, too much of a uh, finer point on it. So there are typically two different types of session types when you're talking about English teaching online. So you could have the one-on-one -on -one or private sessions. So these just involve you, the teacher, and one other student, or be small groups where anywhere from two to six students at a single time. It's not normally more than that. I haven't actually heard of anybody who has had more than six students in a the class. There are a few companies 
that you can work for that will live stream you into a classroom. So they'll put the TV on in the classroom and bring you in there. So, I mean, that's that's a whole different bag, you know, kettle of fish. So that's about, I think there's only about two or three companies that I know of that do that. And the teacher, their teacher will be in the room as well to help you. So what types of English do you teach? It's general or conversational English. There's a lot of apps out there, especially if you want to work online teaching through apps, which is just, just talking to people. There's no lesson plans. There's audio only. There's no visual. There's no slides or anything like that. And it's just talking. Business English as well. Very, very important. There's a lot, big, big market for that as well. So if you've had a corporate background, for example, you've owned your own business or anything like that, then you could possibly focus on business English. And then examination preparation is probably the biggest one. The IELTS yeah, or the Cambridge exams. You may have heard of these two. I spoke about the Cambridge ones. And these are basically exams, international, internationally recognized exams that students take to prove their level of English proficiency for either job applications or uh, visa applications to go abroad or these kind of things. So if you work for a school, they will provide you with all the materials you need. So these online schools have basically something similar to what you're watching right now, uh, going through some slides and a teacher speaking over them and just going through and still providing everything that you need and teaching the students prov provoking answers and things like that. Um, then you could basically just walk your student through a series of slides and you guide their learning, encouraging them, correcting any errors, those kind of things. All right, let's move on to the next slide. How many hours do you commit? All right, so the beauty of teaching, teaching English online is that the hours you work and the schedule you set is completely up to you. If you work on a contract basis, some online schools may require you to teach a specific number of hours. Uh, you can usually choose from teaching only a few hours per week to 20 hours, or even turn this into a full-time career and 40 plus hours. And if you work for yourself, of course, then it's completely up to you. So minimum number of hours, I've heard schools that require you to have five or seven, some as low as two, all right? So that you have to have some minimum hours every single week. But the maximum, that depends on the student demand, on your reviews as a teacher, uh, and many, many other factors. And moving on. So can you imagine waking up when you decide to and working from your lounge? These are what online teachers do. You'll see them online as well if you go and look at some of these images. No trousers on, so they only see you from the top up. Or being at home with your kids and get back from school, being able to go to their school plays, their rugby matches, their football matches. So a lot of people I know that I've helped to get uh, work online are worth stay-at-home moms or stay-at-home dads. And they have family to look after. I mean, that's why I work from home for my kids. Or traveling the world. We spoke about this as well while working online from wherever you are to find, find your next trip. So there's the digital nomad lifestyle. If you're interested in that, then this is another more stable uh, income for you to do that. So how can you work online? This is the biggest part. So there are many online schools for you to consider when looking for online work, but there's more, one, more than one way to work online. So we'll take a look at the three biggest and then offer you a solution for each one in the second part of this webinar. So you can work as an employee. So you work for a school, an online school, and they pay you a salary. You could work freelance. Now, when I say freelance, I don't mean for yourself exactly. That would be more number three, independent. But freelance, there are also a number of platforms um, online, Upwork, you may have heard of them, All right, That's a freelance platform. You go there, you create a web, you create a profile, your teacher profile, uh, upload a video of yourself and your teaching style, et cetera, et cetera. And what they do is they bring the students to the website and then the students choose which teacher they want. So you don't get a guarantee of students, but if your profile is good enough and what you're presenting and what you're providing, your service is good enough, then you will have work. And then the third option is an independent business owner. So you've been an independent teacher, you have your own website, you have your own students, you recruit your own students, create your own materials, and you don't have to rely on any other platform or any other school, and you are truly your own boss. All right, so let's look at the first one. Employee. So in this option, you interview for a position with an online teaching school. If you get hired, they'll offer you a contract and they'll pay you a fixed hourly wage once or twice a month, normally into PayPal, but most of the time into your bank account if you prefer it that way. PayPal fees are ridiculous. So uh, the advantages, they provide you with students, materials, and the curriculum. Very little prep work is involved. 
And the disadvantages perhaps could be an hourly wage can vary a lot. Some of these places pay $5 an hour, some $20. So it's, it's very, very different to, from company to company. Uh, you can't choose your students. They will assign students to you. And I was supposed to type there, you need a degree. <laughs> I don't know where that word came from. You need a degree. Yes, so you need a university degree. All right, this is what we discussed in the beginning, the big changes that are coming through in China now. All right, I just wanted to show you what a typical ins the inside of a classroom looks like when you work for one of these online schools. All right, so they don't all look like this. This is just one school's you know, uh, platform, but they're all pretty much the same. You'll have a little window where you can see yourself, another window where you can see the student, and then you'll have the lesson, which will be like a PowerPoint presentation where you just go through the slides. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see my, my cursor of my mouse at the top there, ask the student to look at the picture and talk about it. So they'll give you all the steps that you need. Do this, ask this, encourage that, emphasize that. So like I said, very little prep work is involved. You just go through the slides that they send you before the class and you can see exactly what you need to do just by following these steps. And on the left here, uh, the word focus on the right-hand side should be used for the student to understand the word. So you can say, hey, have a look over here. So they give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do everything. At the bottom, you can see that they're recording because they record all of these sessions as well and use them for quality control. And if there's any issues later on to you know, be able to speak to the parents or whatever. So this is basically what it looks like on the inside. And then you go through the next slide, which will have your, your, your instructions for that slide and so forth and so on. Uh, when you're talking about how long these slides last for if you're teaching children, it's no more than 25 minutes. And for adults up to 40 minutes or 45 minutes roundabout. All right, let's move on a bit. So there are so many online English teaching companies for you to consider when you were looking for work online. Uh, over 300 at last count. Some of them that you may have heard, if you've done some research into this, if it's not your first experience with online teaching, there's VIP Kid, Lingoda, 51 Talk, Dada is another big one, Panda ABC at the top there. So these are, I mean, these are just a small, small selection. Uh, I've got little asterisks there next to some of the ones that are that were hiring. This may not be relevant anymore, but definitely Panda ABC pays very well. Say ABC, um, Talk915, also known as ZTE. So a lot of these are subsidiaries of other companies. So that's why there's so many of them. They may be all underneath one parent company as well, but they have their own classes, their own students and everything else. All right, moving on. So the second option we spoke about was freelance. So the first option, you work as an employee. Second, freelance. In this option, you create a profile with an online teaching platform that connects students with teachers. So the advantages to this one are you can choose your own hourly wage, your students, your hours. You've got more autonomy. You can work as much and whenever you want. And it's much easier than finding your own students. So you don't have to advertise and have social media accounts and everything to try and attract students. The freelance platform will do that for you. So some of the disadvantages could be that there's competition between the teachers. So a lot of freelance teachers have their profiles up on these things. So when a student lands there and says, I want to study English, there's a thousand teachers. But you'll see later on in the, in the, the solutions that we offer you for this, that we can help you stand out more and get more students. So the, one of the disadvantages could be income is not guaranteed. So while you can set your own hourly rate, there may not be any students for you that month. All right, we're going to do our best to help you avoid these situations as well. And they charge you a commission of around 10 to 20%, the platform, that is. So what the platform does is provide the teaching platform for you. They take the payment from the student. They pay you. So there's a lot of stuff that they do. And obviously, the advertising is a huge cost for them to get the students. So they will take a commission from your hourly rate. So once you've charged the student, once the class is finished, they will take between 10 and 20. All right, so that's an option for people who want a little bit more freedom. Now, to help you out with this in our packages, we've included some pre-made lesson plans for you to help get you started. So if you decided to go freelance, I showed you what it looked like in the inside of a classroom for an employee. So this is what an example of some of the, the slides that we'll provide you with as well. So you can get started working as a freelancer if that's what you want to do. So for example, this is one on travel. That would be the first slide and it's an introduction and you get to engage your students. If you've done any kind of teaching qualification yet, you may have heard of engaging your students, uh, studying with them, and then practicing the information afterwards. So the first slide would be to engage your students, get their attention, start speaking about tourism, things like that. 
And in the second slide, talk, going over some vocabulary for you. And third slide, for example, filling in the gaps of the word below. So not only will it give you these kind of things, that's a little brainstorming slide as well. So the software that you use as well, and the one that we recommend would be Zoom. Now, Zoom is a great, great platform. There's a free one for you to use. But if, you, you know, if you're just starting, the free option is fine. And then you can pay a monthly fee, depending on how many extra students you have or the size or the length of the classes that you want, et cetera, et cetera. So what Zoom has is a great feature in all of them is a whiteboard. So while you're teaching, you'll have this slide there. And then on the right, you'll have a little whiteboard, which you can write on and they can write on. If you've got a group class, you can take your students and make little groups with them and send them off to work on their own, still keep an eye on them. So for this brainstorming session, that whiteboard example would be would be a great tool to use. So with the, all these slides, you'll also get lesson plans. So this is just a sample of the lesson plan for the previous one about traveling. All right, so it'll tell you in your in your lesson aims what you what you should be trying to achieve, uh, anticipated problems so that you can work towards them already before before they even arise, and then break down for example the time the lead in is three minutes. So this for example these are not all the slides from the from the example just three slides to give you an idea, but this is a class for about forty five minutes. So we'll give you as well all the lesson plans to show you how to do it, how to achieve it, what to be looking for. So it's very much the same as working for a school, but you'll have to do a little bit more work on your own. So let's go over some of these platforms that there are online. Some of the most highly recommended ones, italki, Cambly, Preply, Verbling, Tutami, Verbal Planet, Schooly, and then these two at the bottom here, Pellfish and Boxfish. Uh, Pellfish is just a chat app, like I spoke about earlier, where you just speak to people, there's, there's no need for anything else. And Boxfish is it's like one of those subsidiaries that I was talking about earlier. So these are both apps that you can use on your mobile phone. All right, so the rest as well are create a profile. Now, when it comes to the freelance package as well, there's a little bit more um, effort on your part to get set up because you'll we'll provide you with everything that you need, but it's your job to take that stuff that we've prepared, those videos and those you know, documents and everything and upload them to these platforms and create your profile. But like I said, once that's done, that's done. Okay, and then the third option would be a business owner. So perhaps you are a teacher and you have experience already and you're tired of working for online schools, I don't know what the case is, or you're tired of working at your school that you're at, you are at, you want your own business, then this would be the option for you. If you're a new teacher as well and you just don't want to mess around with any of the other options, then that's by all means, you're happy to and welcome to take this option. So you build your own online teaching business with this. You have full control of every aspect of your day, including your students' income methodology. And the income has the potential to be much higher, but conversely, so is the risk, all right? So advantages, total autonomy. You're your own boss in every sense of the word. Uh, and the possibility to scale. So growing your business to a point where you're talking about hundreds of dollars an hour instead of 10 or $20 an hour. I'm always getting ahead of myself with these things, but if you start your own online teaching business and you build it up and you get enough student base that you can't handle the amount of students that you have, you can start hiring other teachers, subcontract to self-employed teachers. You take some of the income from that for yourself and pay the teacher. Uh, you can create online courses. You can do translation work. You can do writing work. I mean, there's so many extra things that can come out of starting your own business that you may not realize exist in the beginning. Whereas if you work for a school, all your time is taken up by just teaching classes. That's good for some people, but not for others. For the more entrepreneurial people out here, this might be the better option for you. So some disadvantages, very steep learning curve. All right, as with anything, especially if you start your own online business, there's, you, there's a lot you need to learn in the beginning. So you need to build a website, you have to learn to advertise to get students and create your own materials. Plus there's usually a larger initial investment in this. But again, we've got something to cover this and be able to help you out with that. So talking about initial investments and money and all of that stuff, how much can you earn working as an online English teacher? Is it worth your while? So for example, if you just work three hours a day, we're talking part-time here, five days a week, and we start at a low end of $10 an hour, we're talking about $600 per month. That's on a part-time basis. You can see the calculation below there. 15 hours a week on average, so that's 150 a week. If there's four weeks in a month, that's 150 times four. So even on a part-time basis, working just three hours a day, we're talking $600 a month. So wherever you are in the world, you could do a quick calculation. Just ask uh, 
our friend Google, and they'll be able to convert that into your local currency for you. If we look at another projection, for example, take the same amount of hours per day and we talk up to now, maybe you're working freelance or you've got a degree and a teaching qualification and you're working for a school, you might earn up to $20 an hour. It's a very realistic target to achieve. So in this case, even working part-time, you can earn 1,200 a month. So that's double. Well, it's double the amount per hour, so double the amount per month. So you can see that if you've got the right setup and you've got the right motivation and you can get the students, then it's a very lucrative, very lucrative. So remember that your hourly wage is not the only source of income that you can have. No matter what you're doing, if you're working for a school, if you're working freelance, if you're a business owner, there are other ways for you to supplement that income. So many companies, for example, if you work for a school, offer bonuses for completing a certain amount of hours or having no cancellations in a calendar month or getting a score, like the students rate you in these schools as well. So at the end, if you get higher than nine on average per month, they'll give you a bonus for that. Every school is different and every school has different bonus schemes, but most of them have some sort of bonus scheme in place. Uh, many companies pay you for your open unbooked slots or if your student is a no-show. So an unbooked slot, for example, let me just clarify, if you work for a school, they'll send you a spreadsheet or a link to a, a spreadsheet at the beginning of the month or the end of the last month for you to choose your slots for the next month. So you say, okay, well, for September, I'm open Monday to Thursdays only, and I can only teach in the morning. So you say I'm available for those slots in these weeks. And the school's job is to put students in those slots. If they cannot book that slot for you, then they have to pay you for it. Not all, again, I'll say this, not all online schools have a policy like that, but the good ones do. All right, and if, you're, if your student, for example, is a no-show, you get paid for that class, even if you just sit there and do nothing. Uh, that would be the same for whether you're a freelancer or you own your, own your own business. If you own your own business, you just make that as part of your terms and conditions. So most companies also have referral programs where they pay you a commission if you recruit other teachers. Uh, if you do go this route and you get hired, uh, first thing to ask them for is one of those links. You can get all your friends, you can get your family members to come and teach for them. And some of them pay up to $100 for every teacher that you bring in. So it, that could also be a very lucrative side gig. And if you work for yourself, then you can create online courses to sell or do proofreading, translation. I told, that's what we spoke about earlier. There's so many, so many routes that you can take that you may not have realized when you start this thing. For example, this guy, Dan Didio. He works for VIP Kid, an American teacher, and he earns $75,000 a year. Now, I... I would like to make this clear i'm in no way shape or form promising you you're going to make seventy five thousand dollars a year i'm just saying that the possibility that you can is there all right people are doing it i'm sure that he works his butt off and probably does a lot of referrals and extra things on the side but working for the vip kids seventy five thousand dollars a year is not bad all right so you're making all this money you've got to pay some taxes well we recommend that you do so most online English teaching jobs categorize you either as an independent contractor or self-employed. The wording may be different in your country. So this means it's your responsibility to report your earnings as a self-employed income. All right. So even if you have a contract with a school and you live a Chinese school and you live in, I see there's lots of South Africans here, you live in South Africa, you still have to pay tax to your local government. Okay. So it's best if you speak to a tax consultant about this, if you're serious about taking this up because I am not a tax consultant and I don't want to give any advice which may be wrong. So definitely look into that yourself. Uh, one benefit of online teaching, if you pay your taxes though, is that the tax office will allow you to write off a portion of your home or apartment as a home office. You can also write off expenses like your computer, laptop, your internet that you pay every month because you use it for work, your webcam, microphone, any teaching supplies, Anything, anything, anything to do with your business could be used as a tax write-off. So you can get all the tax that you've paid when you bought your new laptop. You can get that tax back. That's what I do here based in Spain. And I can I write off a portion of my house and my computers and everything. All right. So what do you need to get started? All right. Well, first off, the TEFL certificate. I, we, I say the TEFL certificate because that's the TEFL the, the certificate that we promote here at eTEFL Online is now mandatory. You can, if you have a TESOL or you want to get one of those or a CELTA, if you have the time, the inclination and the money to do a CELTA that costs two and a half thousand dollars, that would probably be the pinnacle of what you can get. But for online teaching, to be honest, it's not really necessary. If you want to go abroad and teach, then a CELTA definitely. 
So you'll need to do this four week, 120 hour certification, which we'll provide in all of our packages as well. So now I said that TEFL certificate is mandatory. That was the first of the Chinese shakeups to happen last year was making that mandatory. And now to a degree, if you want to teach for a school, just to make this clear, you don't need a degree if you want to do freelance teaching or if you want to own your own business. It's only if you want to work for a school and that school is based in China. There are other schools that are not based in China, but a small handful of those schools. All right. There's not many of them. What's the third thing you'll need? A computer, obviously, or a smartphone. If you just want to do those app based work yeah, with an internet connection, all right, your internet connection has to be stable and fast. We'll talk about that in a minute. So an advantage of teaching English online is the fact that getting started is relatively easy. Startup costs are generally low even that you already have access to all this equipment. Most people have a computer or a laptop or a smartphone, and most people have an internet connection. If you don't have an internet connection then I, or a slow one, then that's one of the first things that you need to upgrade. So the essentials that you'll need for online English teaching, hardware, let's talk about that. Laptop, desktop computer. We recommend an i5 processor or equivalent, and at least two and a half uh, gigahertz, sorry. Some, I have seen some people, uh, some schools recommending at least an i3 processor. So if you have an older computer, that's great. But like I said, the way that this industry is progressing and the way it's expanding next year, an i3 is not going to be enough. It's going to have to be an i5 or an i7 or something. So as with anything, any technology, it's always, it's always progressing. Eight gigabytes of RAM minimum. Recommended a solid state hard drive just to boot up your computer faster so you can get teaching faster. It's not really necessary for the software or for teaching classes, but if you can, then obviously that would be recommended. Uh, HD webcam. Most webcams nowadays are HD anyway, I think, if not all. So uh, at least 720 pixels so that students can see you clearly. Uh, reliable high speed internet connection. We're talking minimum of five to 10 megabits per second at download speed. Or more. The higher you can get, the better. I mean, I know a lot of people in the areas where you live, you may not have access to super fast internet, but if you can, get the fastest that you can get. And then a headset with a noise cancelling microphone. All right. Get one before you start interviewing. So it's that those big earphones that fit over your head with a little microphone that comes around. That's a little set that you buy. Get that before so that when you do your first interview or you do your first uh, video for your freelance platform or whatever that you're going to do, you look the part. When you go to your interview for your first online job at your at the school, for example, that you look like an online English teacher. Because when you apply for these jobs, you've got to have that. Even if you're just brand new, just starting out, you've just done your TEFL course, you've got to have it in your head that you are an online English teacher. You are an English teacher. End of story. You're not looking to become one. They don't want to hire people that are looking to become teachers. They want to hire teachers. So look the part, act the part. In our package for the contract teacher, you'll see we'll help you prepare for that interview. We'll help prepare your, your resume, your CV, everything, everything, everything done for you, all right, to give you the best possible chance. We'll go over that in a second. All righty. Uh, software, Skype or Zoom if you're a freelancer. If you're going to do two or three classes, just one-on-one -on -one conversational, then you don't need Zoom. You can just use Skype. Uh, reliability is an issue, obviously, with Skype. But if you're going to have group classes, Zoom, definitely. And later on, I'll give you a link for that as well to download. Like I said, there's a free package that will be good enough for most beginners. And then, of course, if you work for an online school, they'll have their own video teaching platforms and they will train you how to use them, etc., etc. And then some other things you may need, a PayPal or bank account, which most people already have a bank account. I mean, PayPal, their fees are ridiculous, but some schools do pay into PayPal. There's other things like Payoneer and Chinese ones that I can't remember the names of right now. Uh, and you'll also need a quiet, well-lit home office or workspace. You don't have to have a dedicated room to teach in, but you just need an area of your house where you can sit and it's quiet and well-lit and your background, very important, is nice and clear, not with paintings of your granny and et cetera, et cetera, in the background. Nice and clean. Some schools require you to put their logos up behind you or uh, some sort of animation or you can put a big whiteboard with pictures on it whatever whatever especially if you're teaching children you've got to have a lively background all right part two so that basically covers everything that you're going to need the qualifications you're going to need the the technical aspects that you're going to need the software uh, zoom and all of those things so let's move on to how we can get you from where you are now to teaching english online so what can etf online do for you 
So we specialize specifically in helping people like you get started teaching English online quickly and earning the highest possible hourly rate that we can. So more than 20 years of experience in the ESSEL industry. The ESSEL, if you don't know, stands for English as a second language industry. Like I said before, a massively, massively growing fast industry. Network of, we have a network of trusted recruitment partners, of course providers and consultants, everybody we work with and everybody that provides the courses and everybody that helps you with the CVs. These are all brilliant, brilliant people that have been in the industry a long, long time. Uh, we've also pieced together everything that you will need to create a custom package designed to suit everyone's needs and budget. So it's not just a TEFL course like those other people or the other TEFL course providers will give you. So we'll provide you the training, the TEFL course, then we'll do your documentation and your coaching and the videos and all that kind of stuff. The resources to go with that, there's a link to a resource center on the website. I give you links to more resources to download and then so that you could just start teaching, hit the ground running. I don't have to worry about anything else. Just worry about your training. We'll take care of the rest until you start teaching. All right, so let's see what we have available for you and who's involved in all of this. So uh, like I said in the beginning, in 2016, I invested as a master license franchisee with iTEFL, the provider of the TEFL courses. So they were founded in 2002. So they've been around a long, long time. They've helped over 19,000 people get TEFL certified. I think the, the total is 19,200 and something uh, certificates that they've issued so far. They have offices all over the world, Thailand, USA, UK, Australia, South Africa. And the qualification that you're going to get is a fully accredited 120 hour, 120 hour certification. It's internationally recognized. I help other people as well, organizations to get people jobs in China and every time we've presented their certi certification for visas to get into China, no problem. So accepted globally by schools, by governments, you don't have to worry about that part. All right, so in this module as well, in this TEFL course, you'll also get a young learn teaching young learners module, which is gonna prove very, very handy as, an, as a bonus, especially if you're gonna work for a school as most of the, the, the students on these platforms, on the school platforms are children. Who else do we work with? Just ESSEL resumes and their subsidiary or their other branch, just ESSEL tutors. All right. So Rachel, this is Rachel and Chris. They're a couple from Australia. Rachel is an ESL recruiting specialist and Chris is a business development manager and IT specialist. So they've been in recruiting and preparing student and preparing teachers for ESL roles for many, many years, both online and abroad. Uh, they provide the document writing services for ETF and online. So when you buy one of the packages and there's any CV or resume, prep, resume preparation, uh, coaching, uh, interview, job interview, practice, all that stuff is all provided by just SL resumes. And they also provide the independent teacher course. So we have a course for you to become an independent teacher, start your own business, and that's provided by just SL tutors. All right, this is a great package. We're gonna talk about that in a bit. And then we work with EWF which is a uh, nonprofit organization based out of Indonesia by and founded by Mark Coles, who's an, who was an English teacher himself over there. So it's an online school for underprivileged children. And what happens is they provide English and maths and all kinds of uh, different subjects to children for free. They have centers where the kids can go and use a computer and the teachers teach them online from all over the world. I think they have a hundred teachers volunteering. So upon completion, uh, this, these are the, the provides the practical teaching experience for eTEFL online. So you may have seen in the packages, if you've looked at the website before today, in every package, we offer 10 hours of practical online teaching experience. So it will be with EWF. So you could do that practical online teaching. It's 10 hours. And when upon completion, you'll also receive a letter of recommendation from them. So not only do you get something for yourself, but you're also helping out a wonderful, wonderful cause. And these guys really, really need as much help as they could possibly get. And that's what we are doing here, just trying to help them. Of course, as well, it's not mentioned yet, but I'd like to say that upon completion, when you get that red letter of recommendation, if anybody completes it, we will donate $20 to the charity for every single person that does that. All right. So I just wanted to go over a little bit some of the Facebook comments. There's a lot of a lot of the uh, the marketing and and uh, on, is done online, and especially Facebook for ETF online. So I see a lot of comments, and I get a lot of questions every single day. So one of the ones that really stuck out for me stuck out for me was was this one. So this this lady, no no names mentioned, did a TEFL course to teach English to foreigners. That was four years ago. Passed with merit and has still not done anything with it. They did not give her any program to follow when starting to teach someone of any level of English or anything else. And for her, it was a total waste of time and money. And I see this more often than not. This is the inspiration 
for eTEFL Online, not just a TEFL course, everything that you need. And we're going to contrast this for some actual feedback from one of our previous clients. So at first, this is from Megan. First, she was very skeptical about online teaching, but with the help and great service from eTEFL Online, she's now enjoying her teaching online, and it's all thanks to us. The great service she received from the team was amazing. And within a few weeks, she had her certificate and the training was all done. So Jody was there to answer all my crazy questions, help me in every step of the way to get a job, but I would definitely recommend you guys to anyone who's interested in teaching online. So Megan, uh, I wonder if she's on today. I hope so. So yeah, great, great lady. And she got everything done in a few weeks and got a job. I think she was working for Panda ABC at the end. That's the last I heard. And her, her starting salary was $16 an hour. So these are the kind of people we help. These are the kind of, I mean, we're, we're dedicated to helping get you to where you want to be. So let's have a look at what we can offer you package wise. So the first option on the website as well is this online TEFL course. Now this is just the TEFL course. Do you re there's no degree required to be able to do the TEFL course. Perhaps you already have a job offer. Perhaps you have a tight budget for whatever the reason, just the TEFL course is all you're gonna need. Then this is the option for you. So you'll get that accredited 120 hour certificate from iTEFL. Uh, lifetime job club membership as well. So it's a job club where you can go and find links to apply for jobs. Uh, teaching young learners module that's included. I told you about. There's also included the Cambridge TKT online course. So that's a teaching knowledge test. So after you complete your TEFL course, this is an optional course that you can do as well. And if you take the exams afterwards, you have to pay about $50, I think it was, per module to Cambridge directly to take this, this exam, which proves your proficiency as a teacher. So then with this, you could teach online or in class. So it's the same TEFL course for both online and in class teaching. We'll also put in the 10 hours of practical online teaching experience with a letter of recommendation from EWF. And with every single online course, you get a free buddy pass. So if you buy one of these TEFL courses, you can bring a buddy or a partner or uh, split the cost with somebody or do it with your mother and they can come free. All they need to do when they, after you've signed up for your course, you'll get a link from your tutor because you'll also be provided with a, a personal tutor that will help guide you through the course. And they pay a $1 registration fee, a student registration fee, and they can take the course, the exact same course as you, for $1. All right. Then we've got some more specialized packages. Now, we, we've brought about these packages on Monday they launched, specifically because of the news that was coming out of China about the degrees and about the TEFL and becoming much, much harder for non-degree people to, to be able to work online. So the first one is the freelance package. So you are not required to have a degree for this either. So this includes the 120 hour TEFL course plus the free buddy pass that you saw in the previous one. Then we'll also do CV or resume writing service, introduction video script and profile buying write, writing service, set up instructions and links to all the major freelance platforms. So this is the one where you set up those profiles on those freelance platforms. Now what you're gonna need when you set that up in every single one, they're all slightly different, but they all have universal requirements, one of which is a CV or a resume. So we'll prepare that for you. The introduction video script is a script for you to take and record your own introduction video as, as a teacher so that the students, when they come on most of these platforms as well, the students get to watch a video of the teacher to see if they like them or not. So also that, the profile buying, bio writing service, there's your biography, your profile that you have on there as well. We'll write that for you. So it's specific to you. Uh, set up instructions and links to all the major freelance platforms. So when you go through the process, once you've signed up for this, this package, we'll show you exactly where to go, what to do, where to click and take your CV and put it there, upload your video here. So start from, right from the beginning. A set of 20 pre-made lesson plans. I showed you that earlier in the, in the presentation about the traveling, yeah. So that was just one of the 20. Our aim is to get as many as possible. I'd like to get it up to 100, but it's, you know, I have to pay people for this. Uh, access to our Teachers Resource Center. So if you visited the website, you may have seen Tutors Resource. It's a password protected area of our website, a members area only. So you can download uh, resources there. You can watch videos on teaching specific points of grammar, all kinds of things. Uh, there's ongoing support as well with this package. So in 10 years time, if you still want to email me, go ahead and email me. And of course, 10 hours of practical online teaching experience with a letter of recommendation from EWF. All right, so this is if you want to, if you don't have a, a degree, or if you just want to work freelance, and you don't want to work for a school and you do have a degree, it doesn't matter. All right, so this would be the package for you. 
and then we can help set everything up for you so that you're ready to go with and we'll try and set you up on as many of these platforms as possible because there's no guarantee that if you only apply to one platform they may not get back to you you may not be accepted to teach on the platform whatever so we'll apply to as many as possible to make sure that you have at least three to five platforms registered at one possible at any possible time and you can teach on as many of them as you want the second package is a contract teacher package so now if you do have a degree then and you want to work for an online school then this will be the package for you all right similar in, in, to the freelance package in the way that it includes everything but it'll also include the 120 hour tiffle course plus the free buddy pass so bring a friend or your your family member or whatever then we'll also do the the cv or resume writing service then there's also a cover letter this is different because you don't need a cover letter for freelance teaching but when you're applying for jobs it's always good to send them a cover letter also introduction video script so in this case the video script will be tailored towards the school to the rewards the recruiters whereas in the freelance package the introduction video is is more aimed towards the student to watch you so in this case we'll say if this is a video that you upload when applying for jobs so that the recruitment department can see how you are on on video uh, job interview coaching over skype with feedback so this will be all of these services that i'm mentioning now this is provided by by rachel and chris at, at just SL resumes uh, so they'll interview you over skype uh, in a mock interview and then prepare a report and send it back to you showing you all the good things showing you what can needs improvement etc etc uh job assistance and support of course we'll send you through all our recruitment channels and we'll send you to a whole bunch of links to join groups and to join forums and where to get online support and then access to our teachers resource center the same as the freelance platform then of course ongoing support email me in 10 years and 10 hours of practical online teaching experience with a letter of recommendation as with the previous one as well so that when you apply for your jobs you will have uh, you'll be certified you'll have a degree you'll have your cv ready you will have you'll be coached and ready for your job interview you'll have everything you need and ready to hit the ground yeah and now the latest of the of the packages the just essel tutors independent teacher package you can find this on our website as well so just essel tutors has also just launched their their 28 step course on how to start your own online english teaching business so if this is of interest to you to start your own business, I would highly, highly recommend this course. I've had a look at it on the inside and gone through the materials, and it is comprehensive, to say the least. So by following the step-by-step, day-by-day course, you'll be ready to launch your business in 28 days. Now, it's a lesson a day for 28 days, but you don't have to do it every single day if you don't have the time. It's flexible, so you could do that as well. So if it takes you 48 days, that's fine as well. So here's what's included. You'll get the 28-step lessons on how to build your own online business. 40 plus worksheets, checklists, hints, guides, 50 le video lessons explaining how to advertise on Instagram, for example, and things like that. Uh, advanced resources for when you've got the basics in place, access to the members only Facebook group. So you can get support from, from Chris and Rachel and also from other teachers. Uh, lifetime access to the course with relevant updates, email them in 10 years. And access to the incredible Refer a Friend program where you can earn as much as 30% on purchases. So, for example, if you start your own online business and people like what you do, you say, okay, I did this course with just SL Tutors. You have a special link that is unique to you. You give it to your friends and you can earn up to 30% commissions. This is another way we were talking about having some residual income. Not the only way to earn money while teaching online is through just your hourly wage. All right. So this is another way to do it by referring people to do this course. And then I wanted to talk about this as well. This is also a new one that's come up on our on our radar. This is a teacher franchise. So we've got the, the freelance package where you work for yourself on those platforms. You've got the contract, work for a school, or start your own online business. Now, when you start your own online business, the course is great. But at the end, you have to implement all the things in that course. You have to hire somebody to build a website or build it yourself. You have to hire someone to recruit the students or recruit the students yourself. But all that will be taught to you. But there's still the practical component of you having to go out there and build this business. Whereas with a franchise, everything is already done for you. All right. So in this one from eEnglish, you can, they will give you a virtual classroom platform. They have their own proprietary platform. It's a turnkey system, which means it's ready to go. So you just plug and play. There's a classroom platform and the steady supply of ESL students. This is by far the greatest part of this franchise for me, at least is that the students are provided to you. So they have people on the ground in China recruiting students directly and paying and giving them to you. So you can earn a minimum guaranteed hourly rate of $30 an hour. And then as your 
reputation increases and your 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 score as a teacher increases up to fifty dollars an hour. So you can uh, then every four year four times a year, I think it is, they have an online teacher summit in Thailand and in other locations as well. I think the next one may be in Costa Rica. So they'll you'll have to fly to yourself there to these locations, but they'll put you up in the hotel, provide you with the meals for four nights, accommodation for you and a partner. Also, something new to this package is that if you're an entrepreneur and you want to use this as a business, you can hire another teacher to do the work for you. But that's something you'll have to discuss with them as well. So you can actually make a proper, proper business out of this and set your own schedule. You can work wherever you want, the same as all the others. You know, it's in the comfort of your own home. You could, this is for teaching online group sessions. Group, sorry, let me try that again. Online group sessions. So they get about six students maximum into a group for you. And the students buy what is kind of like a Netflix pass. So they get a month, they get, they pay a monthly fee and they can go to as many classes as they want. And then they just log into your group session and you teach groups and that's it. They also provide all the materials, all the curriculum, all the, the, uh, the slides that you'll need, everything, everything. So, uh, yeah, so this creates having these six students in a class as well, creates a fun dynamic lesson for both the teacher and the students. Uh, there's a much, much higher investment fee on this. Of course, I think it's at the moment it's $15,995. It's on the website if you want to have a look at it. I just thought I'd mention it here today. All right. So let's just summarize what's going on here. So what do we talk about? So included, you get the fully accredited 120-hour online course plus the buddy pass. So if you go look on the ITFL website, this course costs $297. You're getting two of them. So that's a value of around $594 included. Uh, on top of that, the document preparation and coaching package and all of that from just Essel Resumes is $197. You can go look on their website as well. This is just, I'm just trying to break down the, the packages for you and the costs that are involved if you had to go and do this all by yourself. All right. So after the, the two courses, the coaching package, there's the teacher's resource center plus all the lesson plans and the value of at least $200. So that's each package is around about worth about $991. So we're just under $1,000 worth of package materials that we've managed to get into this for you. But what our main focus was is to try and get this down to the price of an online course. So on our website, you will see the online TIFL course is $297. The freelance teacher package is $397. The contract is the same at $397. And the independent teacher package at $297. The independent teacher package does not come with a TEFL course because it's mostly aimed at already qualified teachers. But if you want to do this and you're not qualified, then we can add a TEFL course to that at a discounted rate for you if you decide to go for the independent teacher package. So we've got a value of around about $900 to $1,000 selling it for this amount. And as a launch promotion, we've gone even further and taken $100 off every single package. Our aim from the beginning has been to make sure that this package costs the same as if you did a TEFL course with any other provider. It's not going to cost you anything extra, but you are going to get so much more. So if you go to the website now, the discounts are already uh, applied. So you can get that online TEFL course, which is actually two TEFL courses for $197. The freelance package for $297, the contract for $297, and of course the independent package because it is a just ESSEL Tutors product. It's on their website for $297. You can just get referred from our website as well. All right. And not only that, but for anybody who is ready to go and ready to start, I know a lot of you are on here just to find information, but for those of you who have got all the information you need and are ready to sign up to the people on this webinar, to the people on Facebook as well, if you sign up to this, uh, to any of these packages through our website today, while this webinar is live, we'll also send you a free Logitech USB headset, the H390. You can go and Google it as well if you want. This comes highly recommended. It's not the top of the line, but it's not rubbish either. It is a perfect, perfect uh, headset to get started with. Very reliable, very clear. And if you yeah, sign up to any one of the packages today, we will throw in one of these and post it straight to your house. All right, so all you need to do is visit the website, etefelonline.com. That's E-T-E-F-L online.com. You'll see a page like this. If you just scroll down, you can see the the prices are already discounted and on the website as well for the South African people, because we have so many South African people visiting the website, there's prices and in South African rands as well. And you can pay in South African rands if that's more comfortable for you. So we have dollars and rands on the website, all of them discounted for a limited time. 
So all you have to do is visit the website. At the bottom there, there's an enroll online button, these blue buttons at the bottom. Just click on one of those of the package of your choice. The next page you'll see is this, your enrollment and billing details. You fill them in at the bottom of that page, your payment details, and click on place order. That's it. And thank you very much for your time. Uh, this took us a little bit longer than 30 minutes. My apologies if I've taken up too much of your time. Uh, if anybody right now has any questions whatsoever, you can type them in the chat box over there, and I'll be happy to answer them. And again, thank you so much for your time and for coming and spending this afternoon with me or morning or wherever it is you are in the world. Hi, Justin. Yes, I can email you the slides. Hello, Raymond. You're welcome. You're welcome, Sandy. Sure, Rory. I will send you the slides. Everyone that's registered for this, uh, this webinar has already put their email address in. So I have your email addresses and I'll just email you. I think I have these in a PDF copy actually as well. And I'll send that to you. <laughs> Everybody wants the slides. Excellent. I'll send you the slides. Not to worry. In fact, for the headset, if any of you sign up today, I'll you know, obviously give you some time to think about it, speak to your partners and whatnot and anything you need to, to, to discuss. So I'll run the special of the free headset until, until midnight tonight, for example. Lucille, how particular are they on accents when you join these platforms, or does it matter? You have to have a neutral accent. Some companies, like VIP Kid that I mentioned in the beginning, they only hire North Americans. So you have to be American or Canadian and have to be residing there. So there's a lot of companies that promote the American accent to their students. Um, I assume that's because of media and movies in the general. You know, Everybody knows American accents. Uh, but not all schools. A lot of schools, uh, Lucille, I think you're from South Africa. A lot of schools hire South Africans. And if you're working freelance, it doesn't matter at all. Or you're working for yourself. As long as you have a, a clear accent and people understand what you're saying, you should be fine. A couple more questions coming in. Uh, 
Uh, Lucille, they, which English do most of the companies follow, British or American? Both. They accept both British and American. Like I said, I can count on one hand the companies I've seen that ask specifically for American accents. But yeah, they hire, when they say, they, they're looking for native speakers. And when they say native, they'll put a list underneath of the countries. I think it's like seven countries. It's Canada, the United States of America, um, England and Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. Yeah, those are the seven. So if they state your country underneath, they know what accent you have. But that, of course, is only for, you know, occasions where you'll be working for an online school. Like I said, if you want to work freelance, if you want to work, own your own business, then it doesn't matter. Lucille, thank you. I'm glad it helped. Right. Has anybody got any more questions? All right. Well, then I'm going to end this for today. A last big thank you to everyone who joined. Thank you for your time. And let me know if you have any messages. You can visit the website. I'll just put it here. It's etefelonline.com. And there's a form there that you can fill in, or you can just email me at Jody or support even at etevelonline.com. Probably easy to remember support. All right. And in that case, thank you everybody again, third time. And enjoy the rest of your day, your evening, your morning, wherever you are in the world. Goodbye.